Are you are sure? Undoubtedly. Two to three months. I'm afraid, Bella. Hmm? You are afraid? You should... Well, this child is obviously not mine. Nor is it your husband's. Oh, Emily, Emily. Emily du Chasselet knew that in the 18th century for a woman to become pregnant at the age of 43 was really very dangerous. And all the while she was pregnant, she had terrible premonitions about what was going to happen. كانت إيميلي طوال حياتها تحاول تجاوز الحدود المفروضة على بنات جنسها في النهاية بعد زواجها من جندي شاب وبعد ستة أيام من ولادة طفلها الرابع أصيبت بانسداد وعاء دموي وتوفيت أثارت نظرية إيميلي أن طاقة الجسم معادلة لمربع سرعته جدلا حادا لم يتم قبول فكرتها إلا بعد مئة عام من وفاتها وذلك عندما جاء أينشتاين واستخدم هذه الفكرة الملهمة لجمع الطاقة والكتلة مع الضوء راح أينشتاين يطارد الضوء خلال وبعد المرحلة الجامعية لسوء الحظ كان يضايق أساتذته إلى حد أنهم جميعا رفضوا إعطاءه تسكيات لقد قبل بوظيفة قليلة الأجر في مكتب تسجيل براءات الاختراع السويسري تزوج ميليفا وأنجب منها طفلا وكافحت العائلة الصغيرة لكن ذلك كله لم يضايق ألبرت أينشتاين أشتاين 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 You, you have shown some quite good achievements, but uh, listen, about your promotion, I really think it would be better to wait until you have become more fully familiar with mechanical engineering. Ah, I'm sorry. Ah, perhaps uh, next time. But I wanted to hire a mate so I can get back and finish my degree. Now I will never pass my district. Oh, come, come, my pretty little duck. All will be fine. You'll see. How will be fine, Albert? Do I have to just wait another year until you are promoted? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we are. All will be fine. All will be fine. You'll see. There really is a very charming, but, but kind of a self-centered streak to Einstein. He focuses only on his particular obsessions. If the rest of the world fits in around him, that's fine. If they can't, it doesn't bother him. Albert, Albert, a pretty neck and your head spins. Hey, so, we must behold and comprehend the mysterious. Well, that kind of mysterious is going to get you into trouble. I'll tell you what is truly mysterious. The secret of a long and happy marriage. <laughs> the mathematics are fine, if a little unconventional, but this only works for big systems. It'll fall down when you apply it to small systems. I disagree. Oh, no. Here we go. Another grand theory by Herr Albert Einstein, a patent clock, third class. 
What would happen if one applied those formulae to electromagnetic radiation? Albert, you can't just take one bit of physics and apply it without proper regard to a completely different area. Why not? Albert, I know you like the grand linkages, the big theories, but wouldn't things be better all round if you just got going in some small area? Got a university post, get a decent wage, for God's sake. At least Mileva could study again. Then she'd be happy, and you'd be happy. Ah, the vulgar struggle for survival. Food and sex. Spoken like a true bourgeois. Bissell, I want to know how God created this world. I'm not interested in this or that phenomenon, in the spectrum of this or that element. I want to know his thoughts. The rest? The details. Yes, but you can't feed your children on his thoughts, Bertie. So it turns out Einstein was going for a walk with his very close friend, Michel Besso. They'd studied physics together and talked about physics and philosophy for years and years. They were very close. They had cornered the question of light from every possible angle. بينما كان أينشتاين وبيسو يتساءلان كم يستغرق الضوء ليصل إليهما من ساعات بمختلف المسافات لمعت في رأس أينشتاين رؤية هامة Thank you Thank you I have completely solved the problem Albert! What Einstein did was completely turn the problem on its head. Other scientists had found it impossible to accept Maxwell's idea that light would always move away from you at 670 million miles an hour, even if you too were traveling really fast. But Einstein just accepted that as a fact. Light's speed never, ever changes. Then, what he did was bend everything we know about the universe to fit light's fixed speed. What he discovered was that to do that, you have to slow down time. His extraordinary insight is that time, as you approach the speed of light, time itself will slow down. It's a monumental shift in how we see the world. The instant, the very instant, when Einstein had this brilliant insight that time could slow down, well, the floodgates began to open. You see, before then, people had assumed that time was like a wristwatch on God's hand, that it beat at a steady rate throughout the universe, no matter where you were. Einstein said no that the tick, tick, tick of this wristwatch was actually the click, click, click of electricity turning into magnetism, turning into electricity. In other words, the steady pace of light itself. Nineteen oh five was a miraculous year for Einstein and for physics. He had an unbelievable outpouring of creativity. It starts with his publication of a paper on how to work out the true size of atoms. Two months later is the publication of his paper on the nature of light. That's what we'll learn of the Nobel Prize. The third paper, only a month later, is on how molecules move when heated, and that finally ends the debate on whether atoms really exist. The fourth paper is published at the end of this half-year period. In it, Einstein sets out his theory of light, time, and space. It was this theory of special relativity. That changed the way we see the world. في عالم أينشتاين الجديد الثابت الوحيد لم يكن الزمان ولا المكان بل الضوء.